Namaste! Grand Rising Fire Signs, welcome or welcome back to Frequency Phoenix 555 for your next seven days. The second house, the second house of values. It's about your Skrilla.com, darling dear. Your work, your work ethic, um, your incomes, your routines, your material possessions, what you prioritize, darling dears. And it's also the house of habits. Mm -hmm. For the next four weeks, you'll be slowing down and learning to appreciate the small pleasures of life. You also have what? The sun in Taurus, squaring Pluto in Aquarius. Be prepared for a clash of egos, which is never your amigo, big cat. Mm -hmm. During this destructive aspect, it's a day to challenge authority figures, darling dears, but as a big cat, every circumstance and situation you go into, make sure you go in with what? Knowledge, knowledge. Knowledge is always key, as well as what? Keep in your temper. Don't lose your shiz naive, darling dears. You won't be able to think straight. And from a distance, we won't know whom the chicken of the sea is, blood. Mm -hmm. You also have what? Mercury retrograde. Kicking off. Full of effect, right? In Taurus. From tomorrow, the 21st of April, 2023. Until the 14th of May, 2023. Um, you'll be doing some major spring cleaning during this second Mercury retrograde of the year. Out with the old, yes, baby, as you get rid of whatever's not servicing you. From old clothes, to old ways, to old, old ways of thinking. <coughs> <coughs> Somebody don't want me to talk, because they don't want to bleed the truth, right? You got to sort it out. Mm-hmm. Right, for um, the rising signs, the rising signs, okay? Rising signs, if your rising sign is in the first house, Mercury retrograde is going to be affecting the self, your appearance and new beginnings. For the Aries rising, it will be in your second house of income, darling dear. The incomes, the values, what you prioritize, your work, this and that, darling dears. For Pisces rising, it will be in your house of communication, it's about your thinking, your mind. It's about written communication. Maybe you're going to be writing a new book, rewriting a script, or having to what? check what you send out. The third house is also what? The house of siblings, as well as what? Extended family members, as well as neighbors. Early education, darling. It's about what interests you, as well as social activities. For Aquarius rising, Mercury retrograde will be in your fourth, fourth house of home and family and property. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll be doing some renovation, darling dear. Or you'll be thinking about who you're living with, right? Your roommates. Maybe you're reassessing. However it works for you, it's going to work for you because Mercury retrograde ain't nothing to be played with. Mm -hmm. For Aquarius, oh sorry, for Capricorn rising, it'll be in your fifth house of creativity and dating, okay? The fifth house is also the house of risk as well as drama.com, darling dears. It's the house of progeny, children, darling dear. Mm -hmm. For um, Sagittarius rising, it will be in your sixth house of your physical health, your co-workers or pets, right? For Scorpio rising, it's in your seventh house of committed relationships and partnerships. For Libra risings, it will be in your eighth house of finance, investing and shared assets mm -hmm. for virgo rising it will be in your ninth house of higher education international travel or your philosophical beliefs for leo rising it will be in your 10th house of careers 
Mm -hmm. For Cancer Rising, it will be in your 11th house of groups and networking. And finally, what last but never the least, darling dear, Gemini Risings, it will be in your 12th house of mental health, mm -hmm. addictions and, and or spirituality. So pay close attention, darling dears. Pay close attention. Many of you are wondering what this is. If you don't know me, if you don't know, you haven't been rocking with me for a long time. This is my Moldavite crystal, darling dears. Moldavite, it's very good. <laughs> it works with your um, your crown chakra, your third eye, and your heart chakra. Its powerful energy helps with um, spiritual awakening, transformation, and spiritual healing. However, it's not to be taken lightly and it's not for the faint-hearted. Moldavite energy connects you with the divine mind. Moldavite will move you towards um to move you towards and forwards in your spirituality, right? And taking it to a higher level. Why am I wearing it? I was guided by I myself and me to take it up again. Why? Because we have a prayer move. Yes, B.O.B. On the 23rd of April, 2023, at 3.33 a.m. and 3.33 p.m. For three minutes and 33 seconds. Why? Because we're big cat, darling dear. And you are light worker star seed. Chosen. Why? Because you volunteer to come back to uplift all souls on this Malkuth. So even those that are asleep, you chose to come back to make sure that they wake up to what's going on and get their protection on as what the last shall was it the first shall be last and the last shall be first fist bump that was a lot of intel to unpack but it is what it is darling dears it is what it is let's get your runestone for the next seven days you've got a throuple darling dear good golly and gosh and they all fell out face up. When you cast runes, you read them from right to left. Your first one is Isa. This is hermit energy, represented by the letters K-I-C, the numbers 36, 37, 38, and 39. It speaks about a challenge. You'll be faced with a challenge, darling dear. But you have reinforcement, reinforcements. The arm, um, I said reinforcements. Somebody's trying to inform on you, darling dears. But nevertheless, you are protected by your ancestral team, your spiritual guides, your way showers, darling dears. You're being protected. This is about spiritual enlightenment. Somebody's going to try and betray you over the next seven days, darling dears. But it's going to give you what? The gumption to isolate yourself from the situation so that you can do what? Spiritual work from the inside out for self-examination as well as self-improvement. You are being separated for a reason, darling dear. A main reason. This is Virgo energy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It also speaks about what an unexpected change for the better. So this betrayal is going to be putting you on a different path. One which is our true divinely guided path. When you see the hermit, it speaks about new beginnings. It also speaks about loneliness. Somebody's going to be feeling isolated and lonely over the next seven days. Just because you feel a bit lonely doesn't mean you must allow just anybody to run rampant in your, in your life, darling dear. To run amok in your palace. Remember, you can do bad all by yourself, darling dear. Sometimes you are isolated for a reason so that you can understand what's going on from the inside out, especially so that you can hear God talking. He'd be, he'd be like, can you hear me now? <laughs> yeah, love it. I don't hate it. Good golly and gosh. You've also got Wunjo. This is star card in tarot, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Represented by the letters V and W, as well as the number 17. Yes, baby. This speaks about what? Um, so somebody, somebody who deliberately does not want you to heal from a situation. Somebody's going to be trying to put sorrow and strife in your life. He also speaks about intoxication. This person is a drunkard. Yeah, and they're going to be in a frenzy, and you are going to be in their crosshairs. Well, guess what? Forewarned is forearmed, darling dears. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all of this and that, big cat. All of this and that. It speaks about despair. Somebody wants you to be in despair and to have a lack of faith. Well, guess what? Forewarned is forearmed because you are being protected. But the hermit also speaks about insight. You're getting the insight. So pay attention to your intuition and your discernment. You know who this bottom feeder is. 
Why? Because you've got our gas. This is moon energy on its face, blood, bra, or see stream. Yeah, this isn't fabulous. Represented by the letter X or an X and the letter Z. Mm -hmm. Number 72, 73, 74, and 75. This is talking about hidden danger. Somebody wants to attack your personal power, but we already saw the first rune. You are spiritually protected, darling dears. Somebody wants to catch you at a weak moment. This is the betrayal of the what? The gossiping gossiper. A gossiper will separate um, husband from wife, brother from sister, sister from sister. Yeah, somebody that wants you to be separated, but you know what? They were sent as the what? The agent to put you separate, darling dears, so you can get closer to God and understand yourself. But you have to remember not to lose your rag. Don't lose your shiz, naive blood. Mm -mm, not for this bottom feeder. They're performing their role, so therefore you must perform yours. This is what a, a ta you've been tasked with to go within and look at your own self and your own behaviors, darling dears, because Mercury retrograde, as I said, is going to be in the second house. So therefore, they don't like the fact of what you've achieved to yourself in the form of possessions, what your values are. They're going to try and attack you on a personal level. Like I said, forewarned is forearmed. Nothing like someone who's not doing anything productive with their life to be cast in their skullduggerous eye of Saron on you, big cat, to try and take you down. Remember, you're dealing with a simpleton who is feeble-minded and living in a mud hut. Mm -hmm. let's press on darling dears let's press on let's get your oracle ancestral message for the next seven days i'm going to use the mermaid oracle intel deck oh only a small mix sometimes we'll go with what comes out oh fell off the back end that was quite a bit but i will take the one at the top and the one at the bottom, how about that? Dreaming, darling dear, dreaming speaks about your imagination. This is about what conceive, believe and achieve. This is about you what, continuing to what, stick to your dreams, darling dears. But it's also a reminder to remove in silencio. Move in silence, darling dears. We don't say nothing as a big cat. The only time we talk is when we say ta-da. Mm -hmm. And it's also a reminder for you to pay attention to your dreams. They may not make sense when they when they actually happen, but write them down, darling dear. It always comes out in the wash. Just saw twelve thirty three on the counter. Then I just saw one two three four. Divine timing, darling dears. Something is about to be made clear for you. But the shell, the shell is also what reminds of you to because when you see a shell, it's about being enclosed. It's being covered because it's for protection. So for um, for some sea urchins, it's their home, darling dear. This is about you protecting your home. Yes, baby, walk through your house with the Polo Santo, darling dears. The Polo Santo or whatever incense you like. Protect your domicile. Somebody wants to what? Send a spiritual attack your way over the next seven days. Mm hmm. Them, oh, listen, they don't know who they're playing with because you've got ancestors, which is your security. And they don't play, mate. Not with you, right? Yes, letting go. Somebody's holding on to something. Maybe it could be you, darling. Do you remember? If you're holding on to upset, anger, or any of those what negative vibes, you are not going to what flow and lift up, be raised up with spiritual protection as well as wisdom. It also speaks about when you hold on to Shiznai, darling dears, it's taking the poison and waiting for the other person to die. And I told you, somebody's getting a hard on for you, darling dear, but not in a nice way. Mm -mm. They want you down, Bobby Brown. Remember, I told you that, but you are being protected. But it doesn't mean that you just sit back on your laurels. You can claim dominion of yourself at any time, darling dears. Mm -hmm. They don't want to let go of a situation, eh? Right? Of a friendship. Well, they're not going to be friendly towards you. Some, they, or they're not, they haven't been friendly towards you. We already saw Al Gaz. It speaks of a fake friend, darling dear, a fake lover, a fake family member, fake co-worker. Somebody is about to reveal their true nature. And you're going to have to look at your friendships. Maybe this is why you're going to have to isolate yourself. Because you're going to be asking yourself questions like, why is this person in my life? What was it in me that attracted this level of energy? You have to examine yourself. This is all part of what the shadow work. The DNS had to look over my shoulder. Why? Because I'm the red light, green light champion blood of 79. Just saw 444 in the counter, darling dears. 444 means that protection is being banded around for you, darling dear. But it's also um, a reminder to keep going. 
You are being guided and supported through whatever you're focusing on, darling dear. You'll be guided and supported. Mm -hmm. Face of the deck. Forwards, never backwards. Love it. I don't hate it. Yes, baby. In the words of Abraham Lincoln, you keep going forwards. Remember, if you look back, remember Salt Bay, Lot's wife. Yeah, we ain't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Keep going forwards, darling dears. This make, reminds me of what Neptune energy, darling dears. Neptune is the 12th house. It speaks about your psychic abilities, darling dears. Listen to your intuition and your discernment. Neptune is the higher octave of Venus. And it also speaks about um, disillusion through drugs, alcohol, obligation, bondage, some kind of fog. This is you not allowing yourself to be bogged down by addictions or addictive behavior. Mm -hmm. The 12th house is also the house of hidden enemies, darling dears. Mm. It's also the house of endings and beginnings. It's the house that covers hospitals. Yes, BAB. Hospitals as well as prison or even the confinement. Somebody's pregnant, darling, dear, because pregnancy is also called confinement, right? And they take they're on the drugs and the alcohol, that they're wicked. Why would you do that? Or taking some kind of mind-bending drug while you're pregnant? Why would you do that? Feeble-minded, darling, dear, karma that they're gonna have to work for. Mm-hmm. If you see it, say something, darling dears. Don't let them get away with this shiz naive. Mm -hmm. Because you are being supported. You can ask for help from your ancestral team at any time. Yeah. Let's press on. Let's get a deck. I'm going to use my latest deck, which is a Rider Waite deck, but it's the black on gold. Yeah. Base of your deck. You've got the world card ending of a situation. World is what? Earth and Saturn energy as well as um, the fixed signs of Leo, Taurus, Scorpio and Aquarius. The fixed sign speaks about what? The known. Somebody wants you to stay in a situation that is known to them, darling, to make them feel comfortable. But it's about the you show, big cat. Um, the fixed signs is represented by the middle months. So the middle of the month, darling, dear, is going to be significant for you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We also got some um, someone who didn't respect you, but they're not expecting you to what to to be enduring. You're like the tortoise, darling dear. Somebody who was a hare running rampant in your life, running amok in your palace. It also speaks about what um, some of you are hard to change, darling dear. But you, everybody changes. You can't be the same cat you was last year, five years ago, 10 years ago. It's about evolution of your mind, body, and soul. Keep it moving. World card, ending of a situation. A desirable outcome for you, darling dear. I told you, a wicked person is about to be revealed. Mm -hmm. A fresh start for you, darling dear. And it also speaks about spying. They're gonna turn into Sputnik. Nothing like someone that hates your guts. Hates you like you are the scum between their toes that hates your eyelashes to pay attention to everything you got going on, waiting for you to fail. Mm -hmm. Sputnik has their eye on you, darling dear. It also speaks about world travel for some, darling dear. You're going to be taking a holiday or planning a holiday. You're making a wise choice because you need to unwind. The world card also speaks about um, your values as well as you being an individual. Somebody wants you to recognize your limits as being their limit, darling dear. They will, they're not understanding that the only limit that you have, darling dear, is the one you put on yourself. You can achieve anything you want. Conceive, believe and achieve. Don't allow yourself to be limited by other people's ideas or, where, or by the limit they've set on their own lives. Right? Remember, law number five of the 48 laws of power. Reputation is everything. Hang with four bottom feeders. Guess who's going to be number five, Big Cat? Not me. Mm -mm, not me, but I'm telling you. If you hang with four bottom feeders, guess who will be number five? Right. Mm-hmm. Messages for my Big Cat fire signs for the next seven days. These new cards are so slippery. They really are. Oh. You've got the Ten of Pentacles, darling dears. This speaks about loyalty, calling in what you truly deserve, darling dears. It could be the loyalty of a new family, starting a family, going into a family, a wealthy family with money, darling dears, or creating that foundation. But it's also the releasing of a generational curse. Mm -hmm. 
It also speaks about somebody being a possibly being a beneficiary to a will, which is going to create a lot of what? Upset. Listen, you're the one that's going to come out on top. Everything is being left to you, right? It also speaks about um, the home and the family. Somebody's going to be buying a home, looking to buy a home over the next seven days. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, and you're thinking clearly. No longer, no weapon formed against you. Somebody wanted you to be mentally trapped or stay the way you are. And this also speaks about being with a lack of knowledge. You're going to find out some knowledge which is going to be beneficial to you, darling dear, in a financial way. Pentacles in the upright speaks about your mental as well as your physical health. is going to be fabulous, gorgeous and lovely. Another a major arcana, darling dear. This is what the Sagittarius energy. It speaks about being patient. Patient, somebody also be, has to be patient about what? Releasing himself from addictive behaviors. We already discussed that with the 12th house. It takes time, darling dear. It takes what? Strong will and endurance. Remember, the race, the race is not for the swift. Just like the releasing of an addiction, something that kept you bound in a situation, is for those that can endure. Mm -hmm. It also speaks about you being an earth angel, darling dear. Remember, you've been on a long journey. And it has been difficult up to a point, darling dear, but you have to remember you are being protected. It also, as I said, speaks of you being an earth angel. Yeah. You've got to get away from toxic situation, possibly a toxic connection, darling dears. Pentacles could also represent a job because it's tangible things. Once you decide to strike out on your own, darling dear, listen, as a big cat, you feel the fear is what feel everything can rise. Take a leap of faith, darling dear, in a new direction. Somebody's very unhappy with you could be a family member but it could also represent progeny darling dears somebody's unhappy with the partner that a progeny is chosen mm -hmm. sun energy you don't want them with this this other person you see them as the devil's strongest worker what did i just say someone's progeny or it could even be you deciding to leave a situation where the partner is listen a waste of space a full-on narcissist king of swords somebody who hides their feelings what did i say clarity of mind mentally moving on mm -hmm. clarify the temperance card please see if your progeny or yourself is about to leave a situation being spiritually guided to leave you're not happy there there is a full-on buzz kill mate mm -hmm. temperance is about what somebody tried to form a weapon against you i told you spiritually protect yourself you claim dominion of yourself at any time it also speaks about depression somebody's about to be coming out of a depressive state yeah you've been stuck in it for some time but it's going to come out quickly because the night of pentacles in the upright means what something that's slowly going through but in the reverse you're coming out of a depressive state or a lack mentality hangman because you see things from a different perspective queen of pentacles knows your worth darling dear and it's about getting the focus focus on your finances your home your progeny whatever that means to you so many different messages are coming up clarify the eight of swords please thinking clearly not wanting to be tricked yeah you get the ten of cups emotional fulfillment this also speaks about loyalty two tens together means breakthrough darling dears and as i said the removing of a generational curse you're about to get something this is an older person possibly some a family member that didn't have their own children or you was a child i don't know it could have you they could be a godparent but you're about to be the beneficiary of something in particular the queen of swords is someone who is um, highly intelligent and it's also a reminder to use this inheritance that you're getting darling dear or it could be the form of a new job be wise in that situation right don't go and make quick friends darling dear hermit energy yeah be vigilant be vigilant about whom you allow into your inner circle over the next seven days clarify the ten of pentacles please these cards are so slippery tower moment you're gonna avert a tower moment darling dear mm -hmm. you've got the emperor clarify the emperor the emperor is about you standing in your authority i've told you protect yourself darling dear call in your ancestral team at any time yeah the emperor maybe you're going to be choosing between two people darling dears someone one of them is brock pocketers buddy have you got a dime mm -hmm. some of you are going to be choosing to as i said leave a job you're not you're never going to get rich Divine is about to gift you with a second chance that fell out on purpose, darling dear. Leaving a situation that's full of karma, you're no longer what? Drinking of that cup of opium, four of cups. It's about moving on. Mm -hmm. From a situation that was what? Torturous. 
Yes, baby. There's a lot of gossip, darling, dear, and a lot of nice. You're back. People are jealous of what you've got going on, and you already know who these people are, Queen of Queen of Wands. It's time for you to transform, darling, dear. Death energy is what? Um, represented by um, Scorpio energy, and Scorpio is ruled by Pluto. Pluto is about the regeneration of you. As you continue to what? Um, transform to a different situation. It's going to create a lot of um, obsession and jealousy with this new beginning that you're creating, darling, dear. Mm -hmm. um, Pluto takes, what, 14 to 30 years to tra um, to go through each house. So 14 to 30, darling, dears. I'm thinking 14 to 30 days before you take this giant leap of faith. You've got a small window, but it's for you to what? Be sure that you want to do what you want to do. The Queen of Wands is a natural born leader, but it's about you taking active, active action, moving towards what you want. And people are seeing you as looking sexy out there in them streets. You are wanted by many, but not everybody has the right intentions. Some of them are just, listen, not everybody's allowed to have a seat at your table. Mm -hmm. Lots of messages there. These cards are so slippery. I'm telling you, they're giving me hell like I've got nails on. I'm a dexterous cat. I'm an inventive cat. <laughs> Listen, you had not made me have to move my armrest. Right, let's get some final messages for you for the next seven days. I'm going to go with my FP555 Oracle Intel deck. If you'd like to pick it up, please follow the link in the description box below. There's two decks and I've mixed them together because who go and check me boo? Mm -hmm. Final messages for my fire signs for the next seven days. Yeah, you have an offer coming towards you, darling dears. Pentecale me say, Pentecale you say, right? I said it could come in the form of an inheritance, a new job situation. Maybe you're stepping out with your entrepreneurialism. It's about your plans within plans, darling dears, right? Time for you to play chess, not checkers, darling dears. Realize that you have all of the cards, right? We've got the 38, 30 to 39, divine timing. Um... Yeah, love it. I don't hate it. Sorry about for the quiet. Just saw 27, 27 on the counter. An angel number. Check out the meaning for that, darling dears. On that note, I drops me mic. Todd love to my Teesprings. Todd love to my Patreon. Or simply come back here. And as I always say, don't get smoked. And don't smoke yourself. From the ashes, baby. Namaste. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, big cat wave, until we meet again on these tarot streets, cat, 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 cat.